Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here, and I'm starting a new series here on the channel, man. Uh, we're going to be going over each individual weapon, and we're going to be talking about builds to consider as you head into Sunbreak. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm quickly approaching 500 subscribers, so uh, don't forget to subscribe down below, because this idea works best when I have community feedback, and at 500 subscribers, I'll unlock the community tab, and I'll let you guys vote on which weapon I talk about next, but for now, for today, we're going to start with Lance, okay, we're going to talk about some Lance builds to consider heading into Sunbreak, so that you got a set of armor already ready to go, uh, maybe you're a little bit aimless you don't know what you should be hunting right now to prepare uh we're under 90 days until so this can kind of give you a checklist of uh things to hunt maybe uh parts to hunt down so that you can make this armor set and maybe even blast through the first two ranks of uh sunbreak when it comes out okay because i kind of have a theory on the difficulty of uh, sunbreak when we first get in there and then i think there's going to be a difficulty jump um, on the third tier of monsters, but whatever whatever that's that's a video for another time Let's talk about some Lance bills starting with The full Valstrax set man um, So yeah, I turned off all my layered armor so that you guys can see you know exactly what's going on We're gonna head into player stats here and uh, pull up the thing man. So um, where, where, where am I trying to go? That's where I want. Okay, so we're gonna run the Tigrex Lance um you're going to see Tigrex come up in a lot of these videos because Tigrex has an amazing, amazing set of weapons. They come with a sliver of white, um, pretty high attack, you know, negative 15 affinity, which isn't really uh, a thing when you have max weakness exploit, which I'm, is like the best skill in the game. Almost all these builds are going to have max weakness exploit. So, yeah, you won't even really feel that negative affinity unless you're hitting a part of the monster that's not a weak point. But... It's easy to kind of get over the, the affinity. And the white sharpness is going to be great to have. Because master rank hides are going to be tough hides. So we're going to want a white sharpness on, on a lot of these builds. And we're gonna I'm going to talk about some of the sharpness um, mitigating skills, right? So that you can hold on to that white sharpness. So you can pierce through these tough hides of these master rank monsters. But it's full Val, right? <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, excellent set of armor. Um... And uh, yeah, it's very easy to activate Dragonheart when you're under 80% health, but you have so much defense here on this on this entire set. I think the, the entire set is like 500 defense. I mean, yeah, 531 defense. So you can tank a fair amount of hits here. I mean, I, although I know the Master Rank monsters are going to hit hard, um, they only want you to complete the first Narwa quest, and then you can get into Sunbreak content. So I don't think that these monsters are going to be as hard uh, in the beginning, as I think they're going to be at first, but then we're going to get to, you know, maybe like a rank three, there's going to be a big difficulty jump, because then we're going to be able to farm out some beginning master rank, but you can use this set, I mean, super easy, uh, let's talk about everything I gemmed in, uh, so we're going to start with the Valstrax helmet, comes with one weakness exploit, um, or actually, yeah, comes with a weakness exploit, dragon heart, and then I threw in protective polish and speed sharpening, uh, so that we can hold on to that little bit of white sharpness that I talked about, you know what I mean? So let's actually do it this way, yeah. Yeah, let's do it this way. Um, so yeah, max dragon heart because we're using full valve. A little bit of resentment. So whenever you have a red piece of HP gauge, you're gonna get plus 15 attack. Incredible, right? It just comes with a valve strike set. And then resuscitate. Resuscitate is uh that's the skill when if you recover from a blight, I think, or if you have a blight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you have a blight, you get attack plus ten. Now the thing about Dragon Heart is you get um, Dragon Blight when you're under eighty percent health. So Resuscitate is going to boost your attack plus ten on top of the fifteen uh, from the Resentment. So like we're really stacking up all the attack here. You know what I mean? Uh, Max Wex. Um, the the Valstrax arms come with two Wex, and then you could easily just find the two slot to gem in Max Wex. Easy. Got Protective Polish level 3, uh, so for 90 seconds after you sharpen, uh, you keep the sharpness level you're at. You keep max sharpness no matter what happens, right? So we're going to keep that white sharpness on deck for a long time. Stack that on top of speed sharpening 3, so that it's one whetstone pass, and for the next 90 seconds, we're at max sharpness. We got white all the time. Running Lance, um, we're going to throw in some guard, right, so that 
you know you can use that big shield you got the best shield in the game don't be afraid to put it up um i'll put on quick sheath um because i don't know sometimes i find like the lance takes a while to put away so with quick sheath you put it away and you can wire bug to safety when you need to right because like lance isn't the most mobile weapon even though like rise kind of gave it some wire bug moves to help mitigate uh some of that low mobility sometimes you just want your lance on your back so you can wire bug out the way like spider-man to safety you feel me um i threw in one offensive guard on the chest because it's got that three slot um i feel like in master rank when we get the four slot deco slots open um you might want to make some offensive guard deco so that you can slot in more offensive guard because i mean this is a percent skill so you know let's see we got attack plus 15 on level three it's gonna be incredible so maybe you run this, you know, when you first start Master Rank, maybe you fight, I don't know, Master Rank Izuchi has some level 4 and level 3 slots on there. You could sub in some of those parts on this and then get max offensive guard along with, you know, keeping a high level of Dragon Heart, Resentment, Resuscitate, and Wex. You know what I mean? So, food for thought, something to consider. And then, of course, free meal and flinch free. Just, you know, I had some one slots left over. I just tossed in some skills. Um... That one flinch free lets me take this online without being flinched by everybody. Because you know how Lance is, right? If you ain't got flinch free on, <laughs> you're getting tripped up by everybody and their mama. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so, yeah, that's Valstrax. We're going to be going over this kind of quickly because I have a couple um, loadouts that I want to talk about. So, let's move on to the next one. Tail Lance. Hold on. Let me come over here and get, po get posed up. Let me come over here and get posed up. So, this one. Oh, I had to turn this way, right? uh yeah yeah so we got the tail strand lance it's got the tail strand lance um so this is not gonna require go to yeah this one's not gonna require much valve strikes right so even if you didn't get to hr 100 if you've got a friend that can take you on a valve strikes hunter two you're gonna want to make these valve strikes braces this is like some of the best arms in the game it has a two slot and it comes with two wex incredible and then it also it also does have one piece of dragon heart so when you get under 50% health, you're going to have Dragon Blight. Just stay above 50% health. I mean, you don't want to walk around with under 50% health. Anyway, you're going to be getting one shot by monsters unless you're trying to do heroics. If that's the case, you're a super speed runner. You're a god tier player anyway. So this is the only Valstrax piece on here. We got Tailstra Crown, right? Which is you're going to need to be hunting Tailstras anyway because it's the Tailstra Lance. Um, so the Kaiser Crown, this is an amazing amazing helmet i use this helmet all the time three critical eye and a critical boost along with a one slot incredible piece um so basil basil's gonna be a good piece to use in uh gun lance and lance sets comes with two guard up you know an agitator so when the monster gets mad you get a little buffed up too it's great and your coil mm, love this piece man um comes with two attack boost and a two slot and two one slots incredible piece of armor for what it gives you love me some andra coil you'll find this piece on a lot of my builds heading into sunbreak and right now you know what i mean and then i put the damascus greaves on for the two handicraft um threw on some speed sharpening on there <sighs> because this lance i wanted a bit more white sharpness on there so it's easy to get a couple pieces of handicraft there and then for my talisman i had a two protective yeah, two protective polish with a three slot, and I just threw in critical boost there. Uh, I'll go to the skill view to make it easier to see. So, boom, this is what we got, right? Max wax, like I talked about. Max protective polish. I really love me some protective polish, especially paired with speed sharpening so that we can keep up that white sharpness. Because like I said, master rank hides are tough. You're going to want that white sharpness on deck, okay? A uh, little bit of a tag boost coming from the Anja. Um, you know, it ain't the greatest thing. I'd like to get to level four, but you know, you got to sacrifice things. You can move some things around. Maybe you don't really care for handicraft because, you know, PP plus speed sharpening is going to keep you good. Maybe you can forego the handicraft and go for a piece that gives you more attack boost so you can get the 5% bonus on top. But I don't know. I'm pretty good with this. And then, you know, guard up too because you got the big shield. You're going to want to use it. Um, the agitator comes from the chest that I'm using, right? And then, of course, the one dragon heart because I got the uh, Valstrax braces on. Let's take a look at the actual lance. So, yeah, that two handicrafts. You see that little sliver of white, right? Going to keep that sliver of white on deck because I'm going to use the protective polish plus speed sharpening so that every 90 seconds I just pass my whetstone once and I got white 
uh, for the foreseeable future, you know. So last pretty good. And then I went with blast because it's kind of um a any monster kind of thing. You know what I mean? Of course some monsters are more susceptible to it than others, but hey, you're gonna be popping explosions left and right because you're a lance, you do the triple poke. You know, every time you poke, you're gonna apply some more blast. Um, another thing to consider with this build is maybe you want to eat some uh, the Dango Specialist so that you can get more blasts, right? And then I fully went into the blast because if you look at my uh, my rampage, I got the Tails to Soul, so the blast procs have even more damage, and you um, you apply a little bit more blast per poke, so you're really going to be blowing up these monsters uh, in the beginning of Master Rank, and you could just hold this and just keep it, you know what I mean? Because blast works on every monster a little bit, so. Yeah, here's a build that you could consider, right? Consider it, consider it. Pause the video, you know, jot these down or maybe take a screen cap so that you know um, if this is a build you want to make, if you really like it, what I'm doing. And of course, this isn't like set in stone, move pieces around. And of course, depending on the talisman you got, you know, um, yeah, just, you know, jot down in the comments down below if you want even more alternatives than what I'm going to give you in this video. And the last one. Oh, whoa, not that. Yeah, the last build. Oh, yeah, baby. I look ugly as sin. I look like a, <laughs> I look like a, um, what is it, patch 1.0 character with the with the barrel chest and the disco pants, baby. Y'all remember that era? Anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to pull out the Narga Lance. Um, you're going to see Narga Kuga in a lot of these videos. Why? Comes with amazing sharpness, and this is no handicraft. Like, it just comes just like this, right? Got you that sliver of white. Uh, the affinity, 35%, right? These Nagakuga weapons have hella affinity. 40%, 35% plus. Excellent, excellent. Really easy to get to 100%, especially when you pair it with Max Wex. And I know you see them Valve Strike Blazers on here too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you got Max Wex. Uh, that's going to be 50% affinity on weak points plus the 35% here. You're already at 85%. But wait, there's more channeling my inner Billy Mays, rest in peace. We got the Kaiser Crown on Dirk, and it comes with level 3 critical eye and a critical boost. Makes sense for this kind of build, because we're going to be doing a lot of critical hits. You want that critical boost, so that you get more damage out of those crits, which are going to be happening 100% uh, of the time on weak points. That's right. 35% from the weapon, 50% from Wex. That gives you 85%. Uh, the level 3 crit eye is another 15%. 100% affinity on weak points. That's right. Every single poke you poke on a weak point will be a crit, right? So, with that being said, that's why I got the Rajang pants on. Because the Rajang pants come with level 2 critical boost paired with the Kaiser crown. <laughs> Your crits suddenly aren't 1.25 anymore. They're 1.4. So... You know, even though this has got, you know, a little bit low on the attack with the good uh, sharpness modifier from being white and uh, the rampage skill attack boost, you know, you're getting 100% affinity and your crits do 1.4x damage. Suddenly you're doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. You know what I mean? So let's pull up the skill view and uh, really go in depth. And plus, look at this. Look how, how much attack boost you can squeeze on here, you know? Because uh, I got that barrel chest on. Ooh, I love me some barrel chest. Uh, barrel chest comes with one attack boost um, and two defense boost. But it also has a two slot. So I can jam in um, more attack on there. Excellent, right? Got the critical eye three to get to 100% affinity on weak points. We already talked about this in depth. Max critical boost. So, boom, increases damage dealt to 40 extra percent. So 1.4% per poke. Incredible. I might have that wrong in the comments below. Tell me if I got that wrong, but I think I got that right. Um, max protective polish, max speed sharpening. It's a tried and true combo, people. You keep that white sharpness on lock. And then also you got some defense boost. Um, it's a one slot in this game. So, I mean, I have, let's see, what I got? I got offensive guard, I got stun res, I got flinch free. You can swap one of these out for another piece of defense boost and get a 5% defense. Um, based on how hard master rank monsters are gonna hit, you may want a little bit more defense. Very easy to get it here when using the barrel chest. Because you get to level 3, you get a 5% bonus on top of whatever defense you got. You know, And you should be around 450 plus defense with some of these endgame builds. So yeah, easy, easy, easy. 
Um, Layton Power comes with the Rajang pants, so you get even more affinity on top. I mean, you know, when you poke a weak point, you get 100%, but when you're poking something else, you're not going to get the, the, the Wex prop. So this isn't just wasted, you know. Let's say you're in a not so good position, you got to poke the leg or poke nothing. You can still go for the poke and still take advantage of your max crit boost and all of your crit eye and having, you know, the high affinity. Anyway, so it's not wasted, so I don't mind it being here, but I didn't really gun for it. Um, got the offensive guard once again, because attack plus 5%. It's going to help with the low attack of the Narga Kuga Lance, so you're going to keep that attack really high while having the crit boost up. <laughs> Ooh, baby. And then, of course, Dragonheart comes with the Val, with the Val Strax Greaves. I mean, gloves. Excuse me. I don't know why I say Greaves. Comes with the Val Strax gloves. So, like, if you see your character having Dragon Blood, you're like, oh, yo, whoa, I'm under 50%. Let me just heal this up and keep it pushing, right? Even though the weapon does not have an element on it, it's it's still kind of a visual reminder. Like, hey, what am I doing? I got Dragon Blood on, which means I'm under 50%. These master rank monsters are probably going to one-shot me. Let me pop a potion. Let me do a, a, a healing dust. Let me do a max potion. You know, just to kind of help you stay alive, especially during the beginning of Master Rank. So, yeah, that's going to be the video, people. That's three Lance builds to consider um, heading into Sunbreak to help you, you know, uh, really jump into Sunbreak and take advantage and, you know, so that you're not getting slapped around too, too hard in the beginning of master rank okay so yes um i guess let me know in the comments down below what weapon you want me to cover next i have hella builds for hella weapons i mean let me let me look in here let me show y'all my equipment loadouts look at this look at this look at this all the way to 74 loadouts i have 74 separate loadouts and of course i'll tweak them with you know certain pieces before i uh i show you guys some builds just just you know Food for thought just gives you something uh, to work towards and something to think about when putting together an armor set uh, for a specific weapon uh, heading into Sunbreak. So, yes, those are a couple Lance builds for you to consider heading into Sunbreak. And I think this will get you through the first tier, maybe even the second tier of Master Rank Monsters if you really, really good and you really want to squeeze as much as you can out of the gear. But, um, yeah, guys. I'm here to help you all get prepared for Sunbreak. I'm super hyped for Sunbreak. I can't stop talking about Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak because I want it to come. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. We're going to be doing great things on the channel here. So, yes, subscribe down below. Comment down below. Tell me what weapon you want, you want to see next. And uh, this is a new video series. Uh, it'll, it'll have its own playlist and everything. Builds to consider for Sunbreak. And then we'll have different weapons as we go through. But, yeah uh i'm gonna edit this up i'm gonna chop this up for you guys and put it out there um let me know how you like it all right but as usual people happy happy hunting peace